I said, I saw stuff in, what was it, 97? 97, 98. 98, 98 in San Antonio. That's how I first met Rob. And then the market, like I said, you know, 21st Century Toys, Hasbro, Plastic Collection, all those people came in there. And so all the custom makers went out. But now <coughs> Rob's coming back, Mark Cole's coming back, you know, some of the older guys are coming back. And if you guys get a chance, the <coughs> 17 sets are right over here. They're works of art. Yeah, those things. They're are amazing great. works of art. So if you get a chance, do check them out. He and Kathy have put so much time <coughs> into that set, into every part of that set, down to the paper. And, you know, you can't go wrong with the quality at all. So do check those out. Kathy does all the parkas for Greg, but has a full run of stuff on her uh, elite, uh, Brigade Quartermasters Facebook Quartermasters. page. Yeah. And Felipe stuff is all over the joint because we all run around like he's our poster child. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send the check to you. Okay, absolutely, man. You said dancing girls, right? Yeah. Anyway, so <clears throat> it's strong and it's up to us. And uh, Greg, I can't stress how much he's come through for this hobby and Cotswold. Tina has shown trust and foresight, and uh, if you know Tina, she doesn't adventure willy-nilly at all. And uh, for her to put so much trust in his development says a lot about it. Greg, are any of these pieces new for, since last year? Since you <coughs> yeah, the, like I said, the, the, the space backpack is, is one of the new ones. The astronaut, we incorporated uh, Felipe's, uh, I think of what suit was this one called? Oh, this was usually, the uh, first time was the invader from the, the future. Yeah, the invader from the future. So we <laughs> took that, Kathy Ellis did the gloves, we put our boots on there, and Sean Huckster did the full space suit. Of course, you'll, you'll recognize that, that that helmet is actually an ornament. Clear ornament. A lot of people have been using that, and then he's got the oxygen tank. Another cool one that he did <coughs> that I've been impressed with is wow. yeah, the Buzz Lightyear. Some people call it. That's Tom Swift. Isn't it? Oh, shut up. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> but anyway, but it's been really good. But what I what I wanted to do tonight is I, I would like to have I would like to have Felipe come up here. I would like to have Yuri come up here. I would like uh, have Rob and. Uh, and Kathy, you just come down here. Yeah, just come come down here. But I want come on me, down here. I, I'd like y'all to come talk to them and, and talk to them about what they've been making. Us down here. Because, you know, these people need your support. And they, Absolutely. They've been making beautiful come on things. Down. And I want you to hear what, what, what other things that they've also got. Yeah, this, is all, this is all new stuff. Sorry. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so let's start over here with Felipe. What do you oh. think? Okay. Felipe, right. tell them about these pieces that are right here. All right. Uh, this this year I wanted to, to do something really special. <coughs> and I created this Toyline concept. The first one is the local one-shot collection. So each figure is unique. If I ever make the, the Bullet Man Eagle Eyes again, uh, I'll make it different with, with different clothes and different uh, art, uh, art for the box. And so, and this, and so on as, as the lizard, and as for thinking outside the box, I totally agree with Greg. This is a, a razor blade, um, what do you say, the, the stick, yeah, the handle, that I, I turned into an arm. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I just saw it, and, and oh no, this, this is not a handle, this is, this is an arm. <laughs> And, and I created this guy. This is a 12-inch version of the Black Major from the Action Force line, the UK. And, and this guy, I, I wanted to make a limited series. First 10, and if it goes well, 10 more, and then that's it. So it's going to be exclusive. And the packaging is beautiful, dude, too. He made a very impact oh, yeah. and very, uh, and the artwork is great. The structure of the box itself is fantastic as well. So it's a bit oversized on the box, but it has to be packaged well for your protection. But you know, you know, I, I, I have actually I have something to say. Yeah. And first, uh, I gotta I gotta thank everyone for their support. This is very important. And and for me, passing from uh, a kid who likes to play with toys and, and then a, a grown up who likes to make toys and, and make toys. Uh, this is the first time I started to think and, and try to understand the big ones, you know, or Cotswold and, and so and Hasbro and stuff. There is a balance.
between uh, what you want to do and, and what you need to sell to keep going. And this is very hard to figure out. I'm, st I'm still trying today because uh, I, I have a lot of ideas on, on my head. I want to have my own toy line. I, I got my own characters and I'm trying, uh, I'm trying to find the means. And this is very hard. In, uh, in Brazil, the production is, is difficult. Uh, we, we, have, we have dollar currency going up and down all the time and I, and I have to figure out the fair price without, without killing Greg. So th this is very hard and your support is very important. And one, the last thing I'm, I'm thinking a lot lately is what uh, Steve Jobs said. Uh, people don't know what they want. We've got to tell them what they want. And, and, if you, and if you scrap the cockiness, and if you scrap the arrogance, I think this is suited for us. We gotta be bold. We gotta try something. Oh, I, I wanna uh, make a guy that is a guy and have plant and have lion, whatever. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let, let, let's have the guts to try it. Let's have no shame and try it and, and trust what we, uh, what we want to do. So that, that's what's my, in my head now. That's what I'm thinking. How, how to get where I want and, 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 and how to, to keep commercial in a sense that uh, to do stuff that you will like. So, but thank you. Give thank the you people what they want. Yay! Scale pieces, not necessarily GI Joe pieces, and we have some lines that are coming out uh, sometime next quarter um, that are going to be uh, more movie based, pop culture based, um, just some different things that we're going to try our hand at and see how we make out with that. Um, also, we have the scuba suit. We all know that feeling when you go and you take. Uh, they're made out of a special four-way stretch. Uh, bonded spandex poly um, that will never degrade and just really a durable piece. You can get them wet, you know, it's a, a stand-up piece. Uh, I like what Europe did with the Big Gen line in 86. Of course, we never got to see it here in the States um, up to 86. It, and uh, they were dealing with more of a space theme and they came out some really wild stuff. And I was like, wow, I wish we had that over here back then. So mm -hmm. I guess I'm kind of, uh, uh, my, my MV4, that, that line has kind of transpired into trying to bring uh, Big Jim back, which is actually, we do really well with it over in Italy and France. Uh, not so much in the States, but it's still, uh, you know, it, uh, obviously uh, the uh, space theme and uh, Buck Rogers, you know, you, you can the similarities. And of course, uh, more of the, uh, the track and field type of thing, but with the uh, the Soviet touch to it. So we do a little bit of everything, but uh, primarily um, GI Joe, and uh, everything is made in the United States. And the team is so performing, <laughs> and um, they do great work. I mean, really, when I when I sit there, they keep me going. I see some of the stuff they do, uh, and I'm like, this is better than I could have imagined it being. You know, I'll send them a demo or I'll do a pattern, and they send it back. It's almost like they saw right inside my mind how I want. So um, it's uh, great seeing all that in action. And uh, I'd like to thank all of you also for uh, your support. Absolutely. Awesome.